Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. For so many people in our world, they just do not understand the value of a soul. They do not understand the value of their own soul, and they don't understand the value of the souls of mankind. Now, some of these people, they're outside of Christ. They've never put on Christ in baptism. Some have never heard, but some have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ taught, and yet they have rejected. They have put it away. They thought they didn't need it. They thought they didn't need the gospel. They thought they didn't need Christ, didn't need God. Some don't even believe in God. And so there are people that are outside of Christ that they do not understand the value of their soul, their own soul, and the souls of mankind. Kind, but this is the message we, we need them to hear that we need them to understand that Jesus Christ he values souls he values so, souls so much that Jesus Christ came to this earth lived a perfect life and he died on the cross for you and for me he died for our sins for the sins of mankind for all of mankind he did this because he loved us so much he saw value in our souls to give up his very life there is value in a soul. There is so much value in a soul. And we hope and we pray that as we teach and as we preach and as we help people to see God, to see Christ, and to hear his gospel, that they too, those that are outside of Christ, will, will turn to God, have their sins washed away, be in obedience to him, and, choose, and live a life, choose to live a life every single day for him. But let's understand this. It's not just those that are outside of Christ that, that don't fully understand the value of a soul. Yes, those that have put on Christ in baptism, you know, they saw the need of Christ and they saw that Jesus was the only way. So they put Christ on in baptism, having their sins washed away. But there's so many things that we do in life that shows that we are either devaluing, uh, devaluing a soul or we just do not understand just how valuable a soul is. When we as Christians continue to live a life in sin, and we continue to make that the pattern of our life, instead of letting that old man, that old self be dead and put away, we, we bring that back into our lives. We continue to live it out. We don't understand the price that was paid for our sins. We don't understand the value of a soul. When we, as Christians, when we do not evangelize and teach other people and help them to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, we, don't, we, we again demonstrate that we do not understand the full value of a soul and, and just what can happen if we will just teach and preach the truth. Let the word of God speak that they too can come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, that we can gain a brother, that we can gain a sister, that they can be part of the family of God. And what a wonderful thing. That is the way that we as Christians are to live. We are to value souls. We're to value souls by the things that we, we do and the things we don't do. We're to show value in the souls by the way that we teach and the way that we preach and the way that we evangelize to other people. Another way that I want us to see today, and this is the text we want to turn today, is I want us to see value in souls by being able to, you know, count the cost and understand that, you know, th that all the things this world may throw at us that it's worth going through them all if our souls are found secure in God. And so in Luke chapter uh, 9, verses 23 and following, it says, Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, and whoever, lo whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and, it, uh, is, and is himself destroyed or lost? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he uh, when he comes in his own glory and in his father's and in his father's and of the holy angels. You see, there is a there's a cost that has to be paid uh, for us to be a Christian. There's a lifestyle that has to be lived, uh, and we have to live that life out each and every day. It says, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me that we need to live this kind of life out each and every day, that that's going to show the kind of value uh, that we have put upon our soul, that it's so valuable that I'm going to deny all these things. I'm going to deny myself. I'm going to put these things away. I'm going to suffer. I'm going to go through pain. I'm going to face ridicule. I'm going to fix all these kind of things because my soul is so valuable that it's worth going through all of these things. And you know what? That I'm going to do this and I'm going to teach it to other people and I'm going to let them know about Jesus Christ. I'm going to let them know, you know what he has done for me, what he has done for mankind. And I'm going to do this so much so that, that it might even cost me my life. But it's worth it. It's worth it because there is no amount of money in this world, no amount of money in this world that is, it, it, that is more valuable than a soul. A soul is so much more precious. And so today when we think about the value of a soul, understand that we as Christians, we need to see value. 
See value in soul by putting those evil things out of our life. See value in soul by teaching other people. See value in soul is by counting the cost. And for those of you that are outside of Christ, see value that Jesus Christ saw. See the value that, that he gave his own life so that all of us uh, could have our, an opportunity to have our sins washed away uh, and that we could be clean in him once more. And so today, let us all see value in souls and live for him.